Funny Girls Blackpool Behind the Scenes Tour. <laughs> you know, guys, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Woo! Come to Funny Girls. Hello, my lovelies. I am here at Funny Girls and I've got an exciting video tonight. I can't actually wait for this. I've got a backstage tour. How awesome is that? Let's go see what they get up to. Right, I am here with Kat, who is the stage manager here at Funny Girls. Hi. How long have you been doing this? Um, I'm into my second year now, so uh, yeah, settled in now. Yeah, great stuff. So Kat's going to take us for a tour. Let's go. Let's go. So this is um, oh, the corridor. corridor. So it's it's a real sort of array of <laughs> props, as you can see. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, is that sister? Well, I was thinking it was a Bible. That you... was, yeah, this is, I mean, you don't want to look at them too close up. This is, uh... <laughs> so for, I always like, I'll make something and then I stand about 10 feet away and think, does that look all right? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, so that's, this is our Beauty and the Beast props. Um, this, there's just there's just all sorts of bits and bobs. <laughs> it's chaos, but it tries. I try to make it controlled chaos. So that's good. I um, like that word. Yeah. La label the chaos, and it, it feels a little a little less uh, chaotic. Um, so I bet it's a lot of work then that goes into being a stage yeah, manager. Yes. I'll just pop this light on here, and then we can see around there. Um, yeah, it's physically uh, quite a lot. Um, there's a lot of these like bigger things here. Once I've got the lights on, you'll be able to see here. Yeah. There, so I can show you that side then. Um, but this is the. These are all the flies. So all the. I don't know how well you can see that. Here. I won't be able to see it at the moment. Dark. No, it's too I'll, dark. I'll show you that when I turn the lights. Okay. Um, so this is. Uh, let me switch everything on down here. I know it's not particularly interesting, but you might as well. You're not like me. It's not creepy at all, I'm honest. <laughs> oh, cheers for that, Perry. <laughs> I need to replace a bulb in this room so it's literally pitch black, so there won't be any point in you. Uh... Oh, no, I've been in there. Oh, God, you have to come down here on your own? I do, yes. Oh, my God. Could you just grab that door for me? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, but you normally wear your little headlight, don't you? Yeah, I do have a little head light. torch for um, backstage. So you will be able to see a little bit more. So no one can see anything, but this is the room with all the lighting switches in. These are all our old props rooms. So just every prop, I think from the last 30 years is now here. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, there is, there's all sorts. So how many shows a year do they do here at Funny Girls? Um, so it's, it's um, divided into four seasons, so we're in spring at the moment, um, and there's four through the year, so there's spring, summer, Halloween and Christmas, um, and it's pretty much all through the year, apart from the first two weeks of January, um, it, it runs all through the year, five nights a week. Um, so I'll take you through to this side, we can get switched on and then you can get a bit of light yeah. then and you can see a little bit better. <laughs> I do miss the Irish dancing scene, oh, that was yeah. my favourite. Yeah, that was great wasn't it? In um... Last year's spring show. I'm going to create a petition, bring oh, it sure. back. So is this your little office? I mean, I guess you could call it that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's where everything's powered, sounds and lights wise. Um, it's quite daunting just looking at the three screen, four screens. It's, it's not as complicated as it looks. So I, I, I work in theatre um, outside of here as well as um, a deputy stage manager. So that's the person that says when you're watching a theatre show and all the, the lights and sound happen, that the, the DSM is cueing everything that happens throughout the show. Ah. Um, but here... The, the lights are already programmed to each number. So as a number happens, the, the lights just happen. Oh, so it's good. not like each light in queue is having to be triggered throughout the show like right. you would in a theatre show. <laughs> yeah. So luckily here, um, we have a brilliant lighting designer who lights the whole show and then that that's just programmed for that whole season then. Um, so I just have to set it up and um, and, and start each number. This is the sound desk, so that's the, the only thing I have to kind of fiddle with, really. Um, like for the music and the DJ mics. 
and the music in the show. This mm. powers the screen. So again, this is connected to the, so as a number is triggered, the lights will start, the screen will start, the sound will start. Is that the stage just there? Yeah. yeah so this is uh, the stage right here. And there's the curtain. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at this. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. Right, I'm here on the stage and you know I've got to do it. I've got to do it. A little <laughs> look at this, guys. A turntable on the stage. You spin me right round, baby, right round <laughs> like a record. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Hey, oh, now we're going back the other way. <laughs> We've got a trap door, look. Hey. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'd fall down through that. that someone, someone did fall down. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is all used throughout the show. So this, um, this was uh, quite handy when we did Aladdin. So we had um, a, a magic carpet and we had the smoke coming up through the trap door so ah. you couldn't really see where it was coming from but it created this illusion of like clouds and stuff um, and then they kind of pop through it for comedy value. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm not walking on that, I'll break my neck. I love this part love in the show that the fact that the yeah, dancers the yeah. go across here and then they come back up onto the stage. And it looks great when the guys jump across it as well. Oh, yeah, they jump from that to here. What? Yeah. But on that end one, every single time Luke knocks this magic thing off, <laughs> every single time. So I'll just stand there and pick it back up. It, it really is um, a fantastic show. And for anybody that hasn't been, you need to get yourself down here and get your, your VIP seat in. And they'll come to you and bring you a drink. And I think the thing with the shows is the professional dancers saw the fantastic at what they do. But it's the humour. Yeah, it is. The humour that they put into the show. I mean, honest to God, when I leave, I need paracetamol because I'm in so much pain from laughing. <laughs> Let's carry on. Oh, what's so, that? Um, this. So this is the shell for The Little Mermaid. Um, it doesn't fit out of any door. So if there's ever a possibility of us doing that number, we just have to leave it here. Yeah. <laughs> so it lives here. Um, so any huge props live back here. So this is our table for Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. um, this is the bar they use with Michael Jackson. So a part of um, my job is also doing the props. Um, we've got um, a really good uh, main maintenance person, handyman called Dave, who builds all of this. Um, and then I just give it a lick of paint. So he does, he yeah. does the hard bit. <laughs> um, and then I just got to keep it looking all right. Um, this is the, the flies, so when you see the cloths coming in and out on stage, that's ah. all operated here. So I can just show you now if yeah. you want to have a look though. Shall I turn it round? I didn't um, realise they were so Yeah, there's 44 of them So I can just show you like, the mirrors from there. So, like, oh, look at that! Um, some of them are super heavy, some of them are fine. <laughs> I can imagine. I bet it takes a, a lot of work to keep the shows running, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 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 really fun though, and it's just kind of staying calm. So if something does go wrong, rather than dwelling on that, it's yeah, just moving on. Just move on. You can deal, deal with it calmly. Um, the the main part of the job is this really. Like this is the, kind of the busiest that I am doing stuff like this, um, setting the props. Um, once. Once the number starts, so it's just triggering the track, it's then just all of this, so it's setting any props mid-scene if need be, taking these in and out, and that's it. And remembering um, each one of them must be Yeah, so I've got, um, I've got a cue list for each number, so it'll say 16 in, 14 in. Um, so they just... Oh, look, we've got one coming down there. Um, it's strange how adrenaline works, so this feels quite heavy now, but during the number I bring this in really fast. Yeah? This feels like quite heavy now <laughs> because I've not got the adrenaline of the judge. Oh, so you've got um, these, uh, you've got weights on the other side, haven't you? Yeah, so they're weighted so that it's roughly the same going in and out, and then they're taped so you know where to bring it in. Wow. 
So, Kat, um, can you go through what your shift entails from start to end? Yeah, so um, the first thing I do when I get in is sweep the stage. So, as I was saying before, the, the title is stage manager, but it does kind of encompass everything um, backstage-wise. So, the first thing I do when I get in is swap and, uh, swap and meet. Sweep and mop <laughs> the stage. Um, yeah, the first thing I do is sweep and mop the stage. Um, and then I'll just do a little check of everything. So check that all the props backstage are where they should be. Check that everything looks okay up there. Uh, we swap a few things during the night. Um, so like there's a swing that comes down in the first number. So just checking that that's where it should be. Uh, we have the, the spark machines, which is the pyros at the front of the stage. Yeah. So we just check that they're on and they're full. Um, we have haze on the stage, which is like the smoke, very light smoke on stage, which just makes everything look a bit nicer. Um, so just all little checks like that and then uh, once the night starts we've got the music playing out from the audience coming in so just checking volume levels sound levels um, and then throughout the night we've got the numbers um, which is the live numbers that you watch um, with the dancers um, which will just be triggering the numbers and then bringing the flies in and out which is what I'll show you over there yeah um, any scene changes mid number any drops that we set in um, and it's just that throughout the night and the night just flies then because it's uh, it's just one after the other. Um, it's it's pretty impressive. You really have quite a lot of responsibility in your shift, don't you? Yeah, it is it is a lot, but it's really fun. Like I never don't enjoy coming to work and it, it's such a it's such a fun place uh, to work. I do really enjoy it. Um and I'll always leave with a smile on my face, which is quite nice to have yeah. in your job. Um, you've got to enjoy your job haven't you yeah, if you go into a job that you hate it would just impact your life you've got to love yeah, it and I've, I've had loads of jobs that um that um, I don't know if I'm boring or I don't enjoy that much so you know to be somewhere that's so fun and vibrant and exciting every night is is great and I do I do um fit myself into that um and I don't have um, a degree in um, or any training um, prior wow. to working in theatre. I, I worked as a DSM on the Panto at the Grand um, after working on some events before that. And then from that, I then worked here. So um, I've learned so much about working backstage from being here. And it just shows you that, um, you know, if you just you work hard at something and you work out how to do all the yeah. things... Um, you, you can you can work anywhere you want to really. You don't you don't need that training power to it. I love that. That's some good positivity yeah. there. You know, if you want it, you can achieve. Achieve yeah. and believe, or of believe course. and achieve. <laughs> yeah, but they both work. Yes. Um, you know, the the internet's a great tool for um, training yourself, really. Yeah. Um, which, which is what I did. So um, yeah. So I, I'm I am really happy to work here. That's fantastic. Right, Kat, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the tour. No, it's been great. It's um, it, it's it's something that I love doing and love talking about, so anytime. Fantastic. I've enjoyed that. And guys, get yourself a ticket and come down to Funny Girls. Thank you. <laughs> so here we are in Funny Girls. So you've got seats right up there. Oh, God, you're so high up, you're nearly in heaven. <laughs> What's this one called, pal? Uh, oh, Tilly. Tilly. You've got a bar up here as well, I think. Is that the bar? Yeah, but it's uh, it's all table service. So we're pushing it. Table service. Then if that, yeah. In big pen. And then let's find my seat. I like this seat. <laughs> Vodka, blackcurrant, and lemonade with no ice, please. What is it? Everywhere I go in Blackpool. Stairs. Right, so we're up here on the uh, the top floor. Got a bar here, look. And then the front seats are absolutely terrifying. How do I get down to it? So, this is the terrifying level, as I call it. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't do heights. Look at that. Mm. Tilled up the towel that you won't sit up here. I'm sitting down to recover now. No, I don't like heights at all. But yeah, I do go up the tower, but yeah. I'm scared of the tower, but I also enjoy it. I like punishing myself. <laughs> that was fun. Harry's had enough. Oh. Whereas I was just about to say that you took the words right out of my mouth. 
Actually, no, that, that doesn't even I'm go. I'm walking you in. I've just realised what the next sentence is now. I'm walking you in. Oh, cheers. I've had <laughs> so this is Garbo's restaurant and bar here. And we're going to be coming back to do a proper food review. I'm looking forward to that. Yes. <laughs> it's nice, doesn't it? Well, right. New Year's Eve, oh, I bet New Year's Eve is a is an absolute treat here. Oh, it's something special. Look at that. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? You've got poor cat there working hard, bless her. 